Celtic FC in Glasgow and uh, he saw that there was a, a man sized portrait of my father still there. We are so proud of him. The day he played in Scottish Daily Express October 15, 1936, the headlines of the paper was with his two, three poses of photographs, he is posing in shooting. The title was Indian Juggler, New Style. Then my friend visited Celtic Club, he found a man sized portrait of my father. Uh, with the same jersey on, he inquired about it. So I was so happy to say that uh, he is still being remembered playing just for one season in Celtic FC. Whereas when he came back to India, he had played from horse sporting for four years, five years when the team became champions and made a record of itself in the Indian Football League. Hmm. Now what he is remembered there, it so happened that once I just wanted to know whether they still remember my father or not. I wrote them a letter that I am in little distress. It, it is not true but I just wrote down to find out that I am in distress, I need little help. So immediately I received a letter from Celtic FC which I will definitely show you that they sent me immediately 100 pounds. A check of 100 pounds and a, and, a, and a covering letter with it. So you see how a good sportsman, footballers like my father, he's been respected till today and I'm so proud of him. And uh, they have uh, amended the rules for trial because your father trialed with barefooted. What happened was, it so happened that uh, my father's brother, he was actually a friend but uh, it was like my uncle, he was working in the ship. So he told me, come, come Salim, come, let's go to England, uh, let's go and you know, let's go and have a uh, round and all. So he went to England, when England is, they, they decked into Scotland, so he took him to this Celtic club. So they told him that uh, uh, this is a footballer from India, um, so no, 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 we can't, we can't, we can't do anything because uh, he doesn't play, puts on his boots and plays, he plays bare feet. So he said, you take a try, you like it or you don't like, somehow he convinced them, so they took him to the field, with bare feet he went. There were a lot of questions to be asked. My father couldn't speak English, so my uncle translated for him. So whatever one question was put, my father had to reply in seven or eight answers. So they just, just were dazed about it. Then they said that no, this gentleman has got something into it. So they went to the court, they fought for it for 21 days and then he was allowed with the insurance that he can pay a benefit with an ankle down. And people used to come and touch sweet whether what mechanism was there, what, what machinery was fit. So the day Celtic FC played against Rangers, two top teams like we have in Mohan Bagan in East Bengal. That day Glasgow won by 7-1. A penalty was there, so my father was asked to take it. He said he was shy. The next day it came out of the paper that an Indian footballer had made such a name and such a thing. So what they did, there was a big crowd. They wanted to see my father. So the Celtic club said it's impossible, you know. So what they did was, they made a glass room and he was placed into it and people came th thronging to see my father. Okay, what, what sort of Indian bird this is? Huh? What has he got himself? What a magician is. So, so they said, okay, we will uh, arrange a charity by that public can see and at least see him performing also. So there was charity held and they said that uh, Mr. Salim, you are going to get 1%. So my father with the Indian mentality, uh, English, he couldn't speak, you know. So he said, what to do? Give it to the poor, you know. So it came out of about 1800 pounds. So that time, in 1936, that much of money. Well, later he came to me, he was this. But anyway, he was very proud that he had uh, given for a good cause. Hmm. The next day, uh, orphans in about 30 cars took him around the streets of Celtics. And he was so proud of himself. And that is how. And in India, when I, uh, when I tried to convince them that he is the first Indian during undivided India to play abroad, they wouldn't listen to me. I had to fight 20 years. I bumped into some press reporters like Zafar Ali Khan and others. Then they took up my father's cause. And today, after so many years, he has been recognized as the legendary Mohammed Salim, first Indian to play abroad. After comes Vaishim and then Sunil Shetri who has got to the university. In 1976, 
uh, West Bengal Consular Corps. They honored my father and they took out a magazine where he was written that he was the player who had played for Celtic abroad. So the then Chief Minister Siddhartha Sangare, uh, he was called to the Ravindra Sabhan Stadium and Maya Ray, his wife, presented with a plate and uh, this man Patra. So which, which I can definitely show you. And uh, surprisingly, it's so strange that my father, uh, born and brought up in Calcutta, which is, was the mecca of football till date, and he was not recognized in Bengal, being the first football player brought. Up, play abroad. He was a very simple man. When he, he used to wear pajamas and shirts. When he came back from Celtic FC, the then governor of Bengal was Sir John Adam Anderson. So he honored him by asking him to come over for a dinner. So the entire Mount Sporting team was invited. So he had a blazer which he packed on the piece of paper because he was very shy to wear coats and things like that. So other players had put on their pants, coat and suits and the blazer on. And my father was just walking behind everyone. So when the news came in that the Mount Sporting team has, Salim has come, in fact, the dinner was for my father only. So, the governor came out on the top steps and he asked his ADC, who is selling? All the most putting players, they were in a suit, suited and booted, say though they thought that uh, they are being looked after. That till when he pointed out that my father was right at the back, he came down four or five steps and then he took my father. And then my father, when he went inside, he put on the blazer. So he put his hand on his shoulder and took him there. So these honors, foreigners know how to honor people. But we, Hamare Ghar mein, we have the jewel, but we don't have the, any respect for them. The dedication of my father, how he made this big name, how he could play in England, what sort of practice he did, it is surprising. We used to hear, we were born much later, but we used to hear what practice he used to do. He used to get up 3.30, quarter to 3, 3 o'clock in the morning, go all the way to race course, take rounds of race course, come back. And his 100 meters was, he used to tell a cabman, I'm holding the cab, you, you speed up. So the cabman used to speed up, go on, go on, go on. The moment he wouldn't, then he used to leave the cab. Once it so happened that in Bengal athletics, uh, Vishu Datta was the president of Bengal. Uh, he asked my father, why don't you participate in the sports? So my father said, no, no, I am very shy to do all these things. Huh? So in any how he said that the, the Bengal champion, the you know, 100 meters champion, one month, want to see. And father had beat him by two meters. And at the same time, one strange thing about my father was, he used to play barefoot. A lot of players used to, used to play with boots also. But he had such a practice in the mud and wet field, that after the match, not a spot of mud used to come to his shorts or his, or his jersey. Ultimately, all the players to catch hold of some mud, some dust and just put on his back. What the hell you are?